Hey, I'm Janice Wilson-Hughes. I'm gonna go over a method for making homemade dog biscuits today. These particular biscuits use barley. My husband and I get the barley through our home brewing process. Every time we make a batch of beer, we end up with 10 to 12 pounds of very high quality, perfectly good barley that we otherwise compost at the end of our brewing session. So if you're a brewer or maybe you know some friends or family who are, this is a great way to use some of your barley. Now these dog cookies have only flour, barley, eggs, and peanut butter in them and my dogs go crazy for them. They're not too difficult to make and the best part is you know exactly what's in them and know that they're healthy for your dog. In fact, sometimes I'll even eat one myself. They're not very sweet but you could probably make some tasty granola with the same recipe by adding, I would guess about two cups of brown sugar would do the trick. Well, anyway, here's how you make them. So this only has a handful of ingredients. What we need is three cups of flour, two eggs, four cups of fresh barley. And this is wet because this has been soaked in water for the beer brewing process. Make sure you do not have any hops in your barley. Hops are toxic to dogs, just barley. And then I have one cup here of softened peanut butter. So I'm gonna combine these ingredients and end up getting a little bit messy because you have to kind of hand knead these together. You want this to be a very solid, very dry block of dough when you're done. First I'll add my barley into the flour. Because that barley is moist, it'll help moisten up the flour. Okay, that's decently mixed. Now I'm gonna add my eggs in. Two eggs. And now one cup of peanut butter. This is softened in the microwave. I'll mix this in as best I can by stirring and then I'm gonna have to switch over to kneading this by hand. So make sure your hands are clean and just dive in here. So what you want to end up with is a nice little loaf of dog cookie dough, just like this. This is fairly dry, but completely stuck together. If it's still sticky, you need to add more flour to yours. Now we need to squash this into some cookie sheets and bake it. I've been making these for a couple of years now and come up with a few techniques that seem to help in the process. So I'm gonna share those with you. With our full batch, I'm gonna split this in half. I have lined two cookie sheets. These are 10 inch by 15 inch cookie sheets. I've aligned these with aluminum foil. I'm gonna use half a batch on each one. I'm gonna break it into chunks. And spread this out in the pan evenly. The key for these being good dog biscuits is that you want them to come out very, very, very dry. So cooking them thin is a key and pre-cutting your shapes in helps a lot. I just do simple squares because my dogs don't care what shape they are and I make a lot of these. So I wanna make these very thin. 
going to first cook them until they're done, like for a normal human cookie. But then I'm going to dry them out at a very low temperature for four additional hours in the oven. That drives out all of the moisture and helps these stay good and have a long shelf life. I do actually freeze mine, the extras, and then just take a bag out of the freezer when I need a new bag. But I've never had these go bad at all sitting on the counter for many, many days at a time. So uh, I think these could probably just be kept in your cabinet in a sealed bag for potentially months. So this is a fairly straightforward process. You can make these squares whatever size you want. I keep them little for my dogs. Even though I have about a 25 pound and a 40 pound dog, little treats are good because I can give them treats whenever I want for just small little things. Even if you're going to cook this in your cookie sheet, it's easiest if you take this out to do your scoring so that you can get all the way to the edges with your pizza cutter. For me, about one inch squares works really well. You could use cookie cutters at this point to make other shapes if you wanted to. All right, here's the scored cookies. The oven is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these two flats of cookies into the oven. Now I've got this at 350, and I'm gonna cook them for an hour at that temperature. That might seem like a lot, but keep in mind that the barley was steeped in hot water for 30, 45 minutes before it was used to make these cookies. So it was really saturated with moisture and it takes a long time to dry these out. Just keep your eye on it if you're nervous. I promise they won't burn, but uh, I'll go ahead and get these in the oven. Okay, see you in an hour. Okay, after an hour at 350 degrees in the oven, the cookies or dog biscuits are out and they're ready for the next step. And that just is to break these apart at the lines where I scored them. And I like to load them into Pyrex dishes. Then I'm gonna put these back in the oven at 250 degrees for four hours. I'm gonna stir them once an hour. And then usually because this happens toward the end of the day, I'll just, once they're done, after the four hours, leave them in the oven overnight. And then in the morning, I'll bag them up. I'll keep out how much I want to keep out and I'll freeze the rest. And there you go. Dog biscuits for your happy dogs. These break apart nice and easy along these lines where they were scored. Street. Sit. High five. There you go. Down. Good doggies. Sit. Wait. Jump. Good girl. Come here first. Yes, good boy. Good job, guys. Mommy loves you. Come on. Come and kiss you. <laughs> no kisses, huh? No kisses. Okay. I don't have any more. All you want is cookies. You don't even love me. You just love my cookies. <laughs> Mommy loves you. Yes. 
Mama loves you. Mm. These are good. If you're into ceramics, please check out my DVDs and instant video downloads that are available on Amazon. All you have to do is search my name, Janice Wilson Hughes, and they'll pop right up. I think you'll really get a lot out of them. I'd love to be friends with you on Facebook. If you'd like to connect, just head over to my page, which is Evolution Stoneware. And if you'd like to know when I upload new YouTube videos, just subscribe to my channel and you'll get a notification. If you appreciate these free videos that I put together for you guys, please consider making a small donation to my channel. I would really honestly appreciate it more than you guys could probably imagine. Thanks. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.